India's transforming energy landscape, with stronger-than-ever thrust on renewable energy, holds manifold promises for the country's enhanced energy security, reduced oil imports, improved air quality, and low carbon growth. Energy sustains life, and renewable energy empowers our sustenance. India's clean energy transition continues at much faster pace with focus on non-fossil fuel-based generation, self-reliance, climate action, technology advancement, economic growth and energy security. At present, India's installed renewable energy capacity has crossed 100 gigawatt, excluding large hydro, showcasing remarkable response to India's commitment to deploy 450 gigawatt renewable energy by 2030. Increased penetration of varying and unpredictable renewable energy demands efforts to secure a reliable and flexible grid. Battery Energy Storage Systems, or BESS, can help tide over demand supply mismatches in the grid. BESS is the key to unlocking the true potential of renewable energy. However, lack of a regulatory framework for energy storage systems, high capital costs, and limited ground-level experiences hold back utilities and regulators from investing in this technology. USAID's Greening the Grid GTG RISE initiative conducted a pilot on BESS to assess battery technologies and their utility in grid-based services. Partnering with the Central Power Transmission Utility, PowerGrid, GTG RISE, assessed the overall stacked values of BESS for providing services to the grid and local transmission. The go-live launch of the BESS pilot at PGCIL's facility in Puducherry was followed by the enablement of user cases for grid services. That was the first grid-scale energy storage system in the Indian context, which we installed at the Puducherry, at our Substation. So the other attributes like the frequency regulation in the dynamic manner, then the voltage support of the battery energy storage system, also the load following part, peak saving aspects. So those are the additional applications which can be considered as an value added service of the battery energy storage system. So the USA came forward, then we discussed, then we thought of okay since the technology is already in place grid scale energy storage system is already under operation so let us have this kind of uh, application implemented and get more experience on the more use cases so that will give a good edge for deployment of this technology in a large scale in the indian context so that was the basic objective of doing this kind of project along with the usaid usaid also provided technical support to the BSES Rajdhani Power Limited BRPL DISCOM in New Delhi for deployment of BESS to manage distribution network congestion and reduce peak power purchase requirements. As the penetration of RE increases both at the utility scale as well as at distributed energy resource that is rooftop there is a need for balancing the power. Battery energy storage system being a versatile system can be placed at any node in the distribution network. Therefore, it plays a very important role in the case of a virtual power plant. If it is a distributed system or as a balancing reserve in case of the need to balance out the RE and also during the times when even the real-time market is unable to help. Team with support from USAID has been extremely helpful to BRPL. We have done benchmark study by developing framework to assess the impact of electric vehicles and battery energy storage systems in the distribution network. A, the technical losses in the grid actually goes down when we employ best, which is contrary to the popular belief. That was proven. Second is when we said that we clubbed EV charging along with the best on the DT load. It helped in valley filling as well as peak shaving both. And overall the LV line, the network was uh, under load. So this helped in overall reliability, avoided any thermal upgrade, reduced the TND losses in the grid substantially and also helped integrate EV without any thermal upgrade. That is a very important fact. So this study helped a lot in sizing of the DT bus. And in fact, I would like to thank USAID because with this study, we were able to uh, you know, deploy at six DT locations different battery 
and that too under regulatory approval. There is a critical need for developing a regulatory and market framework around BESS. India's low carbon path to meet its growing energy need necessitates focus on energy storage to support deployment of variable renewable energy. It is imperative that we identify the revenue interest and provide potential investors the clarity and confidence to set up necessary storage facilities at scale. All these things are essentially required that battery energy storage system can be thought of as a transmission element, as a part of the grid. So the regulatory framework also needs to be developed. The policy advocacy is required so that the battery energy storage system can be made as a part of the grid element and the business case that how this will attract the investment into that so that when I am making the investment this will give a uh, recovery of my investment at the same time our energy transition pace will continue. BESS and other innovation pilots under USAID's GTG RISE initiative represent the strong partnership and commitment between US and India for building a resilient and self-reliant power sector in India and its modernization through digital technologies and advanced IT management tools. This strategic clean energy partnership between the United States and India captures their resolute commitment to a cleaner and sustainable environment. The two watchwords of the 21st century.